Well, welcome back into the Mid Norfolk Cottage Garden, middle of January, and we start thinking about the spring bulbs, particularly when you get little clumps like this starting to emerge from there where winter hibernation. We've got a little trick that we uh, did last October with some spare bulbs, which will take you now, which will allow you to extend the flowering season of these beauties a little earlier and a little later and enjoy them within the house. So let's go and show you what we did with these bulbs last October. Now these were a bag or sack of bulbs that we purchased to fill. One of the large water container butts, the uh, half barrels that we've got in the yard. And we'll show you that later planted up. There's absolutely nothing showing through on any of those because they were planted quite deep in the hope that those bulbs will stay in that container for several years. But we had excess left over. So we used these pots and trays from bulbs that we'd purchased probably the year before from the flower auctions. And we filled them half with compost, laid the bulbs on top, and then just dressed the tops with an additional small amount of compost, which does leave top of the bulbs. If I show you this one, just poking through and showing. But what that does allow is for these bulbs to start emerging much earlier on. And to extend the season, we've got these in a northern aspect area just on the side of a little raised wall where they've overwintered and they're now starting to shoot through. What I'm going to do is take these into the conservatory. There's no heat in there but it will bring them on a lot earlier than the bulbs that are left out here in the cold shade and that will allow me to extend the season. If I do that every couple of weeks we should have some flowering bulbs continuously probably from around the middle half of February right the way through to Easter. Now this is that large barrel that the bulbs were actually purchased for and you'll see filming this on the same day as the pots were just showing you there's nothing showing through at all but these were planted three times their own depth under the compost because we want them to stay in here it's quite a big barrel quite deep we'll probably overplant with some additional bedding later in the season but I'm hoping that with some feed these bulbs can now stay in this container probably for three or four years. Now I'm just going to take these bulbs inside in the pots and we'll show you where we're placing these to bring them on. Well I bought the first two pots of the bulbs that we plotted up last October now into this unheated conservatory. It's a south facing conservatory but these are quite low down at the moment. You could just put them on the floor somewhere nice and bright but not having any heat on is going to allow these to grow away nice and slowly and you want to get them to the stage where you can see the flower buds going before you apply any heat to them. If they start growing nicely I may move these onto the southern aspect which is more sunny and a little bit more warm during the uh, sunny days. But we'll keep an eye on these and I'll repeat this process every couple of weeks bringing another pair of pots in to bring on and that should give us a really nice succession. So. Hopefully we'll have some nice early narcissi or dafts to show you pot grown, free of charge, effectively as these were excess bulbs. Nothing to say that you couldn't, if you dug up bulbs earlier in the season, do this with your own homegrown bulbs as opposed to purchased ones. So let's see how they get on and we'll show you these later in the season. Thanks for watching.